The Hive Active Homes Heating System has been installed in my house now for around two and a half years. So I thought today we would take a look at my experience with the system that has been controlling my home heating over the past few years. So some of you may remember I did an install video of the Hive system which overall was pretty easy to do yourself but I would recommend you go check that video out to see exactly what is involved in self installing the system. So first off I've had to do very little maintenance with the system in all honesty since I installed it and it's just worked with no need to go and try and fix anything which is really what you want with a system like this. You don't want to be waking up to find your thermostat is broken or your heating is down for whatever reason and freezing to death while you try to fix it. The thermostat does run off AA batteries which do actually last quite a long time. In the two and a half years that I've had the system I've changed them maybe three times and you do get warnings when they are running low so you can change them in good enough time. But even if the thermostat did happen to die, your heating would still function um, on your set schedule. It just wouldn't be able to shut itself off automatically when it reaches your set temperature but you wouldn't be without a heating system if it did go down. The app is fairly easy to use. You can set up quick actions like boosting the heating for a set amount of time and to a certain temperature threshold. You can see what I have done here on my system that I've got a quick action for boosting for 1 hour to 25 degrees. The Hive can also be linked to Amazon Alexa and other smart devices so you can use voice commands to do stuff like turning off your heating and boosting the heating also. So one of the best features is being able to set a custom schedule up. So I change this a couple times per year depending on the season which is very easy to use. Each day can have custom schedules which can activate the heating and or hot water independently. You can set the time that the heating is on for and the temperature that it should reach before switching itself off. Overall everything just seems to work with the Hive as you'd expect. It requires very little maintenance and has some cool features like ready by mode which uses learning to work out how long it actually takes to heat your home up. So you won't have the heating coming on too early or too late which in the long run will save you money and help keep your house nice and toasty or cool whichever you prefer. So as mentioned in the self install video that I did the Hive will work on oil boiler systems which is what I actually have as well as gas systems. However it should be noted that if you do have an oil fired burner you will have to self install or get a local tradesman or a friend of the family to install it for you as British Gas will only install on gas heating systems so just keep that in mind. So by now there are a lot of other alternatives to the Hive heating system like the Google Nest and many other third party devices but without trying all of them personally I can't really say which is better. But I can recommend the Hive from my experience that I've used it over the past few years and it is definitely worth the money. So if you would like to purchase the Hive there will be a link in the video description as well as links to anything else I mentioned in this video and the self install video and so on. So if you guys do have any other specific questions I know this review was kind of short but there's really not much to say about it. The system just works. It has all the functionality there that you would expect to make it easy. You can control your heating from the app no matter where you are as long as you have internet access and yeah it just works overall. So if you guys do have any questions please do drop them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer everything. But anyway guys I hope you really enjoyed this review and I will see you all again very soon. See ya.